please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal. Come in. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what Steph's done to the place. Dude, I hear you, but a combat-based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you- Hey, Precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Smartass, there's a cat outside the shop. Dude, I don't know. She doesn't have a collar. Yeah, I am gonna hear Steph baby talk at this cat if it's the last thing I do. I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars, but I'm glad Thanor has better taste. Sapphire's right there, for sale. I am the only vendor of magical items in the kingdom. How much money do we have? We've got 10,000 gold. Okay, obviously there's some other way to get this. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? For one gold? This isn't a charity. We need the sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the age of monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the river of sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales and I'll give you the sapphire in return. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. One more jewel left. Getting there. I am gonna hear Steph baby talk at this cat if it's the last thing I do.
that was a cool... No one appreciate it. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Got a soul jewel right there. Oh, 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 you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? How about some gold in exchange for your ruby? You've got my attention? How much? Four gold. Deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Anything else? We're on a quest. Anything you can do to help us out? Hmm. I could teach you to fight like me. Hmm. There you go. Was quick. <laughs> Why don't you say something nice about each of us? Mm. <sighs> you put a great deal of thoughtfulness and care into everything you do. And you see deep into the hearts of people. But you don't let that stop you from believing in them. This troll is emo. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all we need, right? Come visit again. Anytime. <laughs> We've got all three. We can go back to the king now. Yep. Okay. That troll is scared. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. Get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. I knew my words would serve you well. You bribe. Sorry. We gotta get back to our quest. Monster Slayer, you've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria, the forest spirit. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? Exactly the same as I drew in the comics. It's got the pincer and the same grip. 
And it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? Can I really take it? Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay. A song, if you please. Monsters beware your final hour. Thanor has found the sky sort of power. Take that sword now, and the jewels! Stormrider, the undead! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Give them to me! Stirring him! Strike of wrath! of nimbleness. Burning blade! Oh. 
Unholy lightning storm! Death to all who defy me! No! Uh, curse this fire! Scroll of advantage. Stirring him! Untuned cord. Burning blade. Ah. Ah. Curse this fire. wasn't your fault at all it wasn't okay it wasn't Charlotte? Back here. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. Honestly, by the end, I was having just as much fun as he was. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a zero. Well, he's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. I 
can imagine. Getting Ethan ready for his dad, the shop, the spring festival. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Are you sure? If you want company, I'm- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. feel this way? When did I become such a fucking monster? Ethan! It's your fault! Why couldn't you just fucking listen? Angry at him. At Ethan. You blame him. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. 
He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Cape... I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe. But Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. None of that makes you a bad mom. No matter what you're feeling, you always give Ethan what he needs. That's what matters. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. I wish I were too. This anger could kill her and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if I could just take it away? I can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? Alex? I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, I... I think so. Shit. Did I freak out on you? I'm sorry, Alex. I'm... Not sure what came over me. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I think so. Just maybe I blacked out for a minute. I guess that's what happens when you don't sleep. Huh. I wrecked my sculpture. It seems so crazy in here, but I feel... How do I feel? Hey, go home. You're exhausted. I'm serious. It's okay. I'll see you tonight. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. 
Boom. Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? It was intense. But I think maybe she'll be okay. Honestly, I'm not sure how to even talk about it. That's okay. You don't have to. So, please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. Type in safety. Mac, it's me. I'm working, Gabe. We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Smack. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. Alex. You okay? We're gonna get him. I promise. What the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's... Fuck that. I don't need to take this. I should follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? is taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking our lives. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. Lena, it's Diane. We have a- HMB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me- Yep, been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. 
Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward. This is ACFC. How can we feed you? Is the good pickin' chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nuggets. Excellent choice. And would you like the biscuit and gravy or the mashed potatoes and gravy? Oof. Uh, okay. I, uh... Sir? Oh, fuck. Um, sorry. Do you... Do you need a minute? No. No, no. I'm, uh, gonna go with the... bis... Uh, potatoes. Yeah, let's just do potatoes. You could do both for 50 cents extra. Oh my god. You still there? Yeah. No, um... Uh, no, that's okay. Just the potatoes. Okay. I've got you down for a large order of spicy nuggets with potatoes. That'll be ready for you to pick up in about 30 minutes. Thanks. That was riveting. Lace Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, Bev, it's me. Mac, hey, what's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not going to believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new diet. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. Shh, it's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get off, okay? Hold up, why is Gabe there? Okay, talk soon. I love you. Wait, Riley! Oh, Mac. Hi, Belt Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Oh, uh, you, you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, I doubt it. Nasty. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, et cetera, et cetera. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. Typhon Mining, this is Brandon. Hello. I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to... Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll see you Thursday then. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. I'm working, Gabe. We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll halt the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? 
Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane in all this, but... damn. HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking at Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's Jason. Hello, Deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now... To be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, nope, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Typhon mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news and, I don't know, after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so... bureaucratic? Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night? What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea will be discovered. It was a diversion. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another one somewhere else. That's why they couldn't wait. If I can find out where that blast went off, it might tell me why it was so important.
This is about Rhea, but it doesn't tell me where it was. I guess Mac was right to be so paranoid. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. A cold case and a warm beer. A key part of any good investigation. If that happened to me, what's happening to Charlotte? That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Why would they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Didn't Typhon just have inspections around the old site? They weren't mining for anything. They were burying something. 